man, my boss is a real man. He got me working all these extra hours. I'm not even getting paid for it. Yeah. Sounds like a real di Yeah, come on, I'm struggling here, man. Rent's due. My car is junk. Needs a lot of repairs. Shit, they're even charging me an arm and a lady to even look at it. You know you could just call Doug. He'll probably do it cheaper. He's known us for years. Yeah, I don't have enough time in a day. Like, and I'm looking for another job. Listen to your wife, man. She looks like a really smart woman. Yeah, I don't know about that. You know, she does ditzy things all the time. Chuck, <laughs> please. I think you're right. I mean, after all, she did marry you. Right, bud? <laughs> well, I guess you got her there. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't mean to offend her. Should I go talk to her? Nah, forget it. But look, I gotta ask you something. What is it? So how's the buffet business going? It's doing great. Did $900,000 just last month. A little shy of my million a month ago. Wow, really? Damn, and I can barely make $20 an hour. Man, that sucks. Wish I could help you out. Well, you and Sim seem to be making all the right decisions. Sim? Why do you bring him up? Well, I saw on Instagram he bought a new Tesla. Oof, yeah. Model X, that's a sweet car. Well, can you involve me in your business? I could be a great asset, man. Chuck, you lost your last three jobs just this past year. Yeah, but that's not my fault. I just have the worst luck. Well, you know, it starts with you taking responsibility for your actions. You mean tell me you can't help out an old friend? Well, there is something you could help me out with. What is it? I got a great opportunity for you to tap into with your buffet business. No, no, no. The buffet business is doing great. It's already taken off. This is something else. Well, what is it then? As long as the money's decent, I'll figure it out. The pay is great. You won't have to worry about an entire year's rent. Well, consider me in. Your wife. She's a great person. You're a really lucky guy. Yeah, I've heard that a lot. Some luck she's got me. So here's my offer. I'll give you $150,000 to go on just one day with your wife. A date with my wife? Are you serious? Are you trying to f my wife? No, it's nothing like that. Just a harmless date. For $150,000? You want to get punched in the face? No, man, relax. It's nothing like that. How do you think Sim got that Tesla? Sim sold you his wife with the big ass? It's nothing like that. It's just a date. So what are you getting out of this? I get to help out my friends and I get a casual date out of it. What's the big deal? Can't believe this, dude. Look, here's a thousand dollars. Good faith. Huh? Believe me, it's just one date. No strings attached. Man, get the f out of my house. How dare you? Man, relax. It's nothing like that. You're never gonna get an offer like this. Get out now. What happened? I heard some loud yelling. Oh, that's nothing. Rich just in over his head. That's all the money in your pants. Did Richard put that there? Yeah, he owed me. Richard owed you money, really? Did you talk to him about getting a better job? Yeah, but his business idea is just nonsense. Well, maybe you should take his advice. He seems like he knows what he's doing. Nah, forget it. I, I don't want to talk about it. $150,000 to go on just one day with your wife. Just a harmless date. He's gotten into you today. <sighs> well, I think I found a solution to our problems. Really? What is it? Well, Richard offered to pay me $100,000 yesterday. Wow, seriously? You have to take this job. Well, that's the catch. It's not a job. 
Then what is it? It's a date with you. A date with me? Yeah, a date with you, and he'll pay me $100,000. How can you even consider this? You want to sell me off for money? It's $100,000. Okay, maybe you're right. It, it's too less. Are you out of your mind? Look, it's just a coffee date, nothing more. And we won't have to work double jobs. I can't believe you're asking me to do this. Well, Sim and his wife. Yeah, no. Richard offered them the same. Yeah, that's how I finally bought that new Tesla. Oh my God, really? Yeah, look, it's just one coffee date. You can be a total b to him. And voila, we got $100,000. Did you already accept the offer? Is that how you got that $1,000? No, he gave that to me out of good faith. To help our family. Okay. Only one date. And I'm doing this for you. Richard, answer the door! Are you in there with my wife? Chuck, what are you doing here, man? Where's my wife? Where is she? She's not here, bro. What do you mean? Where is she? We had her date and I took her back. Wait, so you didn't bring her back? Was I supposed to? No, you weren't. I mean, if I had that option. Hell no! So nothing happened between you two? I don't kiss and tell. What? Relax, relax. I'm just messing with you. Look, we had our date. Nothing happened. It's all good. 150 big ones. <laughs> yeah. So, so nothing happened? No, man. Relax. Okay. I still don't understand why you do this, but okay, thanks. You know, you're a true pal. I'm just a crazy rich dude. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. See ya. <laughs> oh, thank God you're here. Yeah, I got here a while back. Richard was looking for you to pay you. Really? Yeah, I went to his house to go get it. <laughs> Whoops. I got the $150,000. <laughs> yeah, you better have after everything I had to do. Well, a free cup of coffee isn't much price to pay. I'm surprised you're so happy. Well, it's what we agreed to. Richard told you everything we did? Well, he told me nothing happened. Oh. Did something happen? More than just coffee? I figured you wanted this. I wanted $150,000. I wanted you to have coffee with him. Did something else happen, Naomi? I think you should ask Richard. I did. He said nothing happened. Well, something happened. No, no. Tell me you're lying. What, was I not supposed to? I thought that's what he was paying you for. Who pays $150,000 just for coffee? So you tell me that son of a lied to me? He told me what he did with Sim's wife too. He offered me more if I was willing to do stuff with both of them. Excuse me, what? Exactly what happened? We went in his BMW to an alleyway. And we did things. And he wanted you to do stuff with Sim's wife too? Yeah, but I declined. Well, I told him I had to discuss with you first. I can't believe you did this to our marriage. Excuse me? You asked me to do this. I did everything for my man, for our family. You did this for us? You slept with him for us? How can I get over this? You put me in this situation. I can't believe you would go through with it. You destroyed our marriage. Chuck, you need to take responsibility for your actions. Can't look at you right now. Oh, Chuck. We need to move on from this. You have to learn to take responsibility for yourself. Unfortunately for Chuck, he had to discover that the hard way and so did his wife. 
This story truly meant a lot to me because it's something I can relate with. It's a personal event that actually happened in my life. Oh, I wasn't the guy who sold my wife, don't worry. Maybe I was the other guy, Richard. I'm completely kidding, that is not a true story of mine at all. But it is of other people that I know. Remember to drop a comment, like, subscribe to this channel, and share my videos. I read all your comments, so make sure you leave a comment. It means a lot to me. I read them all, and I like to reply to as many as I can. Thank you again all for 100,000 subscribers. It means a lot to me, and I'm going to be upping the quality of these videos and making more every month. So remember to continue watching, and I hope you enjoy my content.